welcome back here in this new video tutorial today we are going to learn these eight new microsoft excel functions these functions are available in the latest version of microsoft excel the functions that we are going to learn are the unique function v stack function h stack function group by function text split function text join function take function and the drop function by taking the help of these examples we will learn these one by one first of all let's look into the unique function the unique function is used to generate a list of unique items for example here in the b column i have the customer name list and the name of the customer are repeating multiple times my requirement here is to generate a unique list of the item for that i can use the unique function here in the cell press is equal to then type unique open bracket then in the array select the range of the customer from which you want to generate the unique list then close the bracket and press enter now you got the unique list of the customer here and if you see in the formula there were some optional parameters these are the by call and exactly once this by call parameter is used when you have multiple columns and you want to display the unique columns but here we have only one column so this by call is not required here so give another comma then this exactly once parameter is used if we want to display the unique list of item that appears only one time in the data here if i take the true option then close bracket press enter i'll get this calculation error because there is no any customer that is appearing only one time every customer name is appearing multiple times here let me make a customer name that is appearing only one time for example def now i'll get this def here because this is appearing only one time in the data similarly here let me make another customer that is t r e in this case i'll get this here because this is appearing only one time but if i make this duplicate here then this will not be given because when we use this exactly once parameter then it will display the unique item that appears only one time in the list now let's look into the second optional parameter that is by call for example here i have data in different column and some column has exactly same data like if the data in column k and column m is exactly same and the data in column n and column o is exactly same in this case if i use the by call parameter here by pressing equal to then type unique bracket open in the array select this range comma in the by call here we have two option the true and false the true option will return unique column the false option will return unique row here i am taking the true option then close the bracket press enter now i got the three unique columns here if i change the true to false then i'll get the unique row here you see these are the unique row from this data so this is the way of using the unique function let's go to another function that is the v stack the v stack function is used for stacking the data vertically here i have the sales details of different months january february and march my requirement here is to keep this data in vertical direction in this format like the month will appear in the e column the product name will appear in the f column and the quantity will appear in the g column so to stack this data vertically we can use the v stack function press is equal to type the v stack open bracket in the array one select this range of the january month sales comma in the array two select the detail of the february month sales comma in the array three select the detail of the march month sales now close the bracket and press enter now you see the data is stacked vertically so this is the use of v stack function the another function is the h stack the h stack function is used for stacking the data horizontally like here i have the sales details of different month jan feb and march 
my requirement here is to change the formatting of the data to this i want to keep the product name here then the sales of january here february here and march here in this case i can use the h stack function so here in the cell press is equal to then type h stack open the bracket in the array one select the product name range from here comma in the array two select the quantity sold of january comma in the array three select the quantity sold of february comma in the array four select the quantity sold of the march now close the bracket then press enter now the data is stacked horizontally here you see the next function is the group by function the group by function is used for grouping the values like here i have the data of sales in different month for different products and their quantity sold is given here my requirement here is to make the month wise total sales report in this case i can use the group by function here in this cell press is equal to then type the group by function bracket open in the row field we have to select the month range including the column header then give a comma in the values we have to select the quantity sold including the column header comma in the function we have to select the sum function here because we want the total quantity if you want a different calculation here then you can choose other calculation type to choose it double click then it will go here in the formula then give a comma in the field header if you want to display the column header then you can select this s and so option then here you have other multiple parameter these are all optional so you can leave it now close the bracket and press enter now you got the month wise total sales grouped together here you see the next function is the text split function the text split function is used for splitting the text from a cell for example here in the column b i have the employee information their name age and gender is kept together by using a comma separator here my requirement is to split these name age and gender in three different columns like here in the column i want to put name in the next column i want to put the age and in the next column i want to put the gender in this case i can use the text split function here press is equal to type the text split function open the bracket in the text click on this text comma in the column delimiter put the separator here that is the comma so here type double quotation type comma double quotation again then give a comma now these other parameter here are optional so you can directly close the bracket press enter now you see the name age and gender is separated to three different column so this is the way of using the text split function the next function is text join this text join function is used to join the text from different cells in one for example if you want to join all these three cell together here press is equal to then type text join function open the bracket in the delimiter you have to put what you want to use for separating every single text here i want to separate every single text by dash in this case i can type double quotation type the dash symbol double quotation again then give a comma in the ignore empty you have two option either true or false if you want to ignore the empty cells you can use true otherwise false here i am selecting the true option then give a comma now here in the text one text two text three you can individually click on the cell or you can also take the array if you have large number of column then you can take the array otherwise you can take them individually here i am selecting from a4 till c4 this is array now close the bracket press enter and here you see the text are joined by separating every single text with a dash now you can drag this down and the text are joined here in the cell the next function is the take function 
to explain the use of take function here i have the data of sales that has the date customer name item name quantity sold and sales revenue here in this sale let me use the take function press is equal to then type take and here you see the description of the take function that returns a row or column from array start or end so open the bracket in the array i am selecting this whole data then give a comma in the row i am selecting 10 row comma in the column i am selecting three columns then close bracket and press enter now this take function has displayed the data of 10 row and three columns because i specified 10 in the number of row and 3 in the number of column if i double click on the formula then make it minus 10 then i'll get the data from last 10 row here i am making it minus 10 then here you see this is the data from the last 10 row this last 10 row data is displayed here similarly if you double click on the formula and take minus 3 in the column then you will get the last three column data so this is the use of take function the another one is drop function the drop function is the opposite of the take function like here in this cell i am going to use the drop function press is equal to then type drop open bracket in the array select this range then give a comma in the row i am going to put po then give a comma in the column i am going to take two in this case what does it display is it will display the data by dropping the four row at the top here you see the first four row is dropped and it started to display data from this row and the first two column is also dropped the column 1 and column 2 is dropped and it started to show the data from the third column so this is the way of using the drop function here if you put the row and column in negative number then it will display from the last like here if i make it minus 4 in the row then it will drop the last 4 row if you drag it down the last 4 row is dropped Similarly, if you make the column negative here, if you make it minus 2, then here you see the last two columns is dropped. So this is the way of using these eight new functions in Microsoft Excel. And this much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. We will again meet on next video tutorial.